Well, I finally got my hands on an Elementum button lock. Now, I I like the Elementum, don't you? I mean, the the three inch blade, seven inch overall, nice, uh, very much simple design. Less is more. And I guess that gave it that simplistic uh, appeal, you know, just kind of an all around nice gent carry knife that was really inexpensive. And they did a lot of different things with it. Oh my God, what didn't they do with it? But then here comes the button lock. And I always thought if they made the Elementum a little bit bigger, wouldn't that be cool? And they did, and they made it into a button lock. So you can do this, you know, and that's nice. So it, it locks shut, it locks open, but just push the button, you know, and there you go. It's, so it's easy to operate. When I first got it, I go, okay, there's no flipper tab. There's no thumb studs or anything. So, and oh, by the way, I can't open it. Oh, I have to push the button to open it as well as close it. Okay, interesting. We'll take this apart at some point in time here in a few minutes. Centered up, it looks good. Another thing that I thought was interesting is it's 14C28N blade. Gray, stonewash, is that not gray? I mean, that's definitely gray stonewash. Woo, baby. Um, and then this is that dark green micarta. Does that look dark green to you? It almost really looks gr like a dark gray to me or medium gray. And then it's got black liners, etc. And backspacer is the same material as the scales. Got a little cutaway here. I guess you could sneak up on the blade there. Also, um, you know, sharpening purposes. You're not going to run over and start banging into things here because you, you got that little cutaway area. And a really simple blade shape that should be able to do a little bit of this and that. And let's get a piece of paper, see how it is. Okay. Yeah, no complaints there. No, no complaints at all. It's nice and sharp out of the box. And you know what? It's Savivi, okay? You can get them in different. If you want to pay big money, I mean, get this, you know, Elementum, Blue Carbon Fiber, Damascus. You know what? I, I don't need that. This is fine with me, and this is what I got, 6630. Now, if you get on White Mountain Knives, guess what? The LTK gives you 10% off, whether it's $10.95 or $6.30. But $6.30, you know, that's, that's not a very expensive knife. And you can get them in different things. The Brown Micarta is also a favorite of mine. And here's the stats on this. You know, eight inches overall, three and a half inch blade, plain edge, blah, blah, blah. Very limited, unfortunately. And uh, black liner designed by Savivi. Who is that guy? Does he really spell his name like that? So also, and which end did I open on here? So I usually open only one end of the box and you get a zipper pouch with Savivi uh, no crazy birds dragons or anything and uh, paperwork and microfiber cloth there's no pockets in here it's just a pouch which is fine I mean you got a $60, $60 knife right I mean you won't bitch about that no I'm not I'm not. Um, Sandvik steel, you know, 14C28 and so it'd be nice and corrosion resistant. It's sharp. Uh, let me look at the plunge. Plunge looks good. I mean, this is fun and this will um, get all your friends to hate you and your wife will throw things at you from across the room because you're going to sit there and do this. And that's going to drive them all completely crazy. Um, you know, it pretty much an open design, but it does have that backspacer and you can see where you could throw a lanyard through there so they didn't drill a hole through there. And by the way, and by the way, number eight, number eight. Okay, but see these two holes? 
somebody screwed up. Wow. Oh, I guess you can flip the clip. Now, hold on. Yeah, and those are flat screws there, so you can move it from one side to the other. And have I carried this knife? I don't know. Does a bear do something in the woods? Yeah, it does. And so, yes, I have, I have carried this knife. And yeah, I like it. A pocket clip works fine. Uh, ergos are a dream because this is, you know, I, when I think of less is more, I think of like Ray Laconico. I mean, the guy that has done the Keen and some other knives that are, are in a lot of the Monterey Bay knives and stuff. It's just less is more. It's just real simple, rounded edges, you know, really beautifully uh, flowing design. And this flows really, really well. Um, you know, Hold on, let's pull this out. Let's lay it down again. Okay, blade to handle length is fine. The design flows crazy good. And yeah, fit and finish is nice. I mean, it's a $60 shooter, man. It's not a $200 knife, okay? But this is one you can haul around in your pocket. And it, you know, you look at a knife like this and you go, how do I not carry this knife? And that's the ridiculous thing. Do you ever get like kind of stuck on a knife after a while? You have a rotation, but then all of a sudden you're not rotating like you would normally because you found a knife that is just too damn much fun and just so practical, usable, lightweight. Oh, let's do that, by the way, come to think of it. Yeah, 3.2 ounces. I mean, you know. How are you going to bitch about that? 91 grams. And let's put the calipeter on it. Come here. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit thinner than the paramilitary 2. Come here, girl. Let me throw it around. Yeah, 0.45. Pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. Okay, 0.45, 11.3 millimeters. And... 2.9, okay, 0.11 of an inch, but a three millimeter thickness blade. This is a thicker blade than that, okay? Blade stock is thicker on the paramilitary too. It's more like 3.6, I think, three and a half, 3.6. But, I mean, this is lighter weight too than the PM2. Oh, by the way, just throw it out for size comparison. They're damn near the same size. A uh, blade length for sure. Okay. We got three and a half. We got 90 millimeter. Okay. We got eight inches overall. We got not quite 20 and a half centimeters. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. I don't know. Blue G10 would be nice too. Or a natural G10 would be nice as well. So I got nothing against G10. I think that'd be A-OK -okay as well, to tell you the truth. And that brown micarta looks pretty good. Maybe you want the carbon fiber with Damascus. I don't know. I'm just not I'm just not a Damascus guy. I I don't necessarily see the charm of as far as really a day-to-day -day user to tell you the truth i know it kind of looks intriguing but as far as i'm concerned just give me a good solid user steel and i'm happy and you know what that looks pretty well done it is sharp so that's nice yeah i mean plunge is nice everything about this feels pretty good and you know Check out the ergos. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's good. Where's my blade balanced at? Hold on. Get up further, a little further forward, and we're good right there. I guess that's our stop right there, is it? Yeah, a front and a rear, right? Rolling around here. Kick there. Kick. And you can see the mechanism in here. Push, release, come back around. And then kicks out again, push it to release it, kicks through again. Interesting, yeah? Okay. So, let's see about tooking it apart. Get out of there. Now, what are we going to do to mess things up? 
Let's see what we do here. And here, kind of getting really close into that clip, aren't we? Get both of them screws to fall out, it'd be nice. Here we go. And they look the same length. Here we go, just rip it apart anyhow. Probably should have taken the pocket clip off and just taken this outer uh, scale off to begin with. We got pins coming through here. Um, there's your little lock mechanism here that catches when it rolls around. Oh, well, we got some bearings fell out too, by the way. And here's this, and let's push this thing out of the way. And there's your blade, 14C28N. Stone washy and all that good stuff. And you know what? Nah, I don't like my I don't like my bearings facing that way anyhow. If you can see that little machined area under the pivot cap, and of course that mates up with under here. It's hard to see because of the micarta, but that little area there. So they've done some weight relieving in through here. I mean they skeletonized the liner and also in here. This pin is your lanyard uh, hookup. And of course, these are your stops for open and closed. It should come right out, I would think. But you know what? I'm going to leave well enough alone there. And then, of course, this little nub here fits into this area here when it rolls around. Of course, you don't need a steel washer because you got steel liners. But you do need bearings. And you need to open the bottle. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Now. I've got to pull blade on here. It might be a good idea. By G. Diddley. And so we're rolling around. And then. We need more bearings. Come on. Get in there buddy. Okay, and then we got fitment fitment up into here. So I think I'm gonna just lay it down like this in this position. See if I can snap it together. Okay, that worked. Okay, rather be lucky than good. And. Let's see if we can break this knife. I mean, what the hell? Otherwise, what's the point? Well, let's see what we got. Okay. I don't know what we're supposed to. Okay. Uh, did I get that lined up? Yeah, I did. I just didn't get my body screws in here. Okay, so that little, eh, get out of here. Oh, well, I need this, because these are all number eights. Come to think of it, I'm so used to number six body screws, unfortunately. Um, and we're tied up against here, aren't we? There you go, buddy. Okay. So, uh, we're back. It looks like we're centered. So, what do you think? Civivi Elementum, huh? Nice. Eh, it's definitely fidget friendly, that's for sure. And interesting mechanism. It's nice because it keeps it symmetrical front to back. You don't have a big old you know, line cut down through your scale like a lock uh, lock bar, you know, would be on a, on a frame lock. And you don't really have a liner lock per se. You got that little mechanism there messing with this button. And it's a pretty, pretty nicely done, actually. So, yeah, I like it. I really do. Uh, it's a good size. It's fidget friendly, lightweight. 
Less is more simplistic design. I'm going to let you go. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.